Hello everybody, it's Sean again. This is part two of uh, my meditation chakra and vibration raising video series. Just going to talk briefly about the chakras. Um, there are actually loads of chakras in the human body, but the major seven are the one that we'll be talking about now. Um, so if we start at the bottom of our body where the coccyx and the spine is, that's the base chakra also known as the root chakra. The next one up is the sacral chakra, then it's the solar plexus chakra, the heart, the throat, the brow or the third eye chakra, and then on the top of the head, just slightly to the back, the crown chakra. I've taken a few notes, just because I can't remember everything off the top of my head, no pun intended. Um, so the base, the root chakra then, uh, this is located at the base of the spine, and it's the first instinctual chakra it's the driving force for our survival it has the ability to sense danger and seek safety it's associated with the hips legs and eating disorders and it's the one that actually connects us to the ground to the earth moving up the sacral chakra this one is located in the middle of the abdomen just below the navel and it links with our lumbar spine and sciatic nerve. It's the second of our instinctual chakras. It gives us that instinct and gut feeling, that flight or freeze or flight syndrome. So when something's wrong, you know that feeling you get. And it also taps into our emotions. Moving up is the solar plexus chakra. This one's located just under the rib cage, under the sternum. Um, it's packed with nerve endings and it's linked to courage, confidence and curiosity and our self-control. It rules the digestive system as well, the stomach, the liver, the pancreas and so on and so forth. And it's what we use as almost like a, a backup brain or our first brain where we feel something's not quite right but logically we can't work it out. But we have this gut feeling and that's your body, your solar plexus chakra working out its surroundings its energies and it knows that something's not right that's why you get those feelings so moving up to the heart chakra no surprise it's located in the center of the chest around the area of the heart and it's associated with the lungs the thorax ribs and upper digestive tract it rules love and emotional security compassion and devotion on a spiritual note, it relates to our out-of-body experiences and astral travel. Next up is the throat chakra. This one runs through the neck from the lower part of our throat and to the cervical spine. This chakra relates to the thyroid, ears, mouth and lower face. Its basic purpose is communication and language, art and creativity. This one has a spiritual connection. Some say it's the crossing point between this physical realm that we know on earth and the realm of spirit. The throat chakra can act as a gatekeeper. When the chakra is opened, it protects the heavenly chakras from the earthly chakras. I can go into that at a later time in more detail. The next chakra is the brow or the third eye. Some say it's located between the eyes and others say it's located in the middle of the forehead. Um, personally for me, it's, it's literally in the middle of the forehead above the brow. Um, this chakra is connected to the spirit world and it helps people to contact or receive messages from spirit. And it's a major part for people that can channel and hear, feel spiritual healing. It's said to be one of the seats of the soul, linked to meditation, seeing auras, remote viewing, and my favourite, distance healing. So crown chakra then, located on the top of the head, slightly to the back. It provides the connection to the heavens, to the spirit realms, the universe, and basically the energy that's around us within the world and the universe. It also reaches down through the chakra system to connect us to the earth beneath our feet. 
So that's your seven major chakras. You also have meridians, which are energy lines that run through your body, and also minor chakras in the shoulders and other parts of the body. You have a chakra running through each hand, and you also have an individual energy point, a chakra, in the end of each finger and your thumb. And I'll save that one for a different video where I can actually show you how you can feel the energy through your hands and you can feel and if you get the light right you can actually see the energy from one finger to another. And you, you can do this yourself just to make sure it's not a anomaly or something's not quite right. You know, you can do it yourself um, many times, many days, different days, etc. And all you need to do is just observe repeat and then just believe because it's there it's as simple as that get your partners to do it get your friends your family to do it everyone we can all do it it's there right that's it for now then um have a nice day everybody and don't forget to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for more of these videos thank you bye bye